Hello everyone and thank you for joining me today. Today I'm gonna walk you through a very interesting business case to show you how I've been able to optimize an evolving FileMaker solution integrating it with different technologies. But first of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Fabio Bosisio. I'm from Italy, but I've been living in New York City for the last three years. I've been developing with FileMaker for a long time now. I've started with the version 5. I am a FileMaker certified. I am a freelance and I partner with different companies such as Beeswax Data Tools in US and Tridzero in Italy. As far as I would I like you to leave this session, I put inspired with new ideas because the aim of this presentation is to show you some examples of creative solutions to pretty common problems. And talking about creativity before we start, remember that creativity requires the courage to let go of certainties. Our client is called Shopping Club. They are a network of retail stores with, as today, 9 stores, 2 warehouses and 1 external logistic located in different regions of Central and Northern Italy. They sell the most diverse type of merchandising. Think about them as an Italian version of Target. In their stores you can find everything from food to clothing, from electronics to household products. They have changed a lot during these years and I'll show you how FileMaker helped them and adapted to all the steps of their growth. But one of the main characteristics that I want you to keep in mind is that to buy in their stores you have to be registered and have a membership card that you have to present at the moment of your purchase. These specific characteristics together with their wide catalog of products is what will drive all the software developments I show you in this presentation. These, for example, are just a few images of some of their stores. Just to give you a better picture of their business, here are some numbers. They have more than 100,000 customers registered. They issued almost 200,000 fidelity cards. They have a catalog of almost 150,000 products. They do 1,000 transactions per day, selling between 8 and 12,000 products per day. This is just to say that our software has a lot of numbers to manage. How did they evolve? And how did their relationship with FileMaker evolve? The history of Shopping Club is also the history of its software. I want to briefly tell you their story because over time they have grown, many dynamics have changed and their case is an excellent example of how FileMaker has adapted to their needs with different solutions according to their problem. Up nowadays, a complete rewriting of their system with cutting edge techniques. The story begins in 2010. At the very beginning, our client has only three stores and they need to unify its database because the three stores are operating as three completely separated entities, with one database per store in SQL Server and, as you can imagine, this is causing a lot of complexity. Many activities were a bit difficult to manage because it was necessary to collect data from three stores. Think about their stock, for example. The stores can see the stock of the others, so they don't know if and how many products are in stock in total. What they want to do is to start managing their operation centrally, and this means having one client database, one product database, and one of point of sales application to be more efficient and better organized, to avoid creating duplicated records in their stores and, on top of that, be able to do some basic reporting. So, what we initially built was a monolithic FileMaker solution to unify the databases of both clients and products and to manage the cash register and improve the sales process. 
to make it easier and faster. Additionally, to share data among the three stores, we choose to use Microsoft Remote Desktop Services because they had a lot of connectivity problems and also we didn't know how all the computers were configured. So this was the most immediate solution for us. We are now in 2012. In two years, our customer grows and opens new stores and new warehouses and also starts to do mail marketing campaigns to engage the clients using a Joomla-based web application to send emails to his customers. To simplify the customer registration process, we decide to digitalize the paper and to provide the operators in store with FileMaker Go on iPad in order to eliminate the paper form that the customer used to fill in and make the registration completely digital. So the customers are now entering in FileMaker and from there they are sent to the Joomla user pool for sending newsletter. In addition, with the expansion of the sales network in different regions of Italy, the management decides to opt for a differentiation of the prices list, assigning different prices to the products according to the different regions in which a shop is located. And this causes a lot of change in the data structures and in the logic related to the point of sales. 2014 is a turning point for our software. The client is growing, the sales are growing, and so are the data that our software has to deal with. And therefore, we really need to find a solution that could limit the dependencies of the point of sales on the central application. The problem is that if there is a connectivity or a server availability issue, we have issues in all the stores. If the server doesn't work, all the selling activities in the store has to stop and we cannot allow that. We therefore decide to detach the point of sales from the central solution in order to make it autonomous and independent as a separated application. The problem is solved initially with the custom web publishing using a PHP middleware called RESTFM with which it is possible to create simple APIs using the process of receiving data from the point of sales. So, in this way, we created a standalone app, but now, since it is detached, it is necessary to import and align the data and make it speak with the central application. For the data import, like products and clients database, we use the FileMaker native features, which allow us to import data. For the data export generated locally, like the sales transaction, we use an API created with the RESTFM middleware that relies on the custom web publishing. We are in 2015 and we have another addition to the network, one new store and also an external logistic warehouses. So the data keep increasing. We migrated the client to a new server to have more space. We do some fine tuning and improvements on our apps. And we also add two new applications, one for the inventory take and one for the management with reporting and analysis tools to check the status of the sales. And finally, we are the most important moment in the evolution of our software. In 2018, we have the opening of two new stores and so we reach an endpoint where the amount of data becomes unsustainable and therefore we decide to completely rethink the application with the aim to make it more modern. During the steps I told you about, we were always able to find the right solutions to a fast page changing business. But now we are at the point where the solution is difficult to maintain, it is sometimes slow and also we would like to remove the remote desktop and the related licensing cost. Also, we want to optimize the way in which the point of sales interact with the central application. In addition, we want to give our application a better structure to be more open to third-party integrations. So the question is, how did we redesign our application? This is our breakthrough moment, and so T2 
things get really interesting. With the approval of our customer, we decide that it is time to start over. Our business has changed over the years and our software must change with him. And these are the five actions we decided to take with five as many innovative solutions. Make it fast. We want our software to be fast in the wide area network using only the FileMaker platform and avoiding the use of Microsoft Remote Desktop Services. Make it serverless. We want our solution to be serverless for the point of sales. Make it efficient. We want to lean our application by having FileMaker data processed at regular intervals and share information in a smart way. Make it speak. We also want it to talk to us and therefore we created a chatbot with a small AI to which management can ask simple questions on the status of the sales. Make it connect. In the works, there are integration using Claris Connect for customer engagement. So, what are the conclusions of our business case? We wanted to tell you the story of Shopping Club because we think it is an excellent case study that shows the evolution of a small medium business and how, at each step, we were able to adapt our software. Personally, I found myself developing in FileMaker precisely because the Italian reality is an excellent pool of small and medium-sized companies that want tailor-made solutions that can be adapted to their needs, and FileMaker is a platform that allows us to adapt and respond to all the requests that came up along the way. At the every step of Shopping Club's growth, we always found the right solution, and now the most interesting part is coming less business and more technical. How did we technically recreate our application and make it fast, serverless, efficient, talkative and connected? Check out the next videos to learn more. In recent years, and especially now that smart working is becoming the new normal for many people, having your application available in cloud is with no doubt one of the key factors for success. In our case, the application had to be centralized and distributed over a geographical area, and to achieve this goal in the past, we had chosen to use Microsoft Remote Desktop Services. Unfortunately, over time, the cost of this approach and the need to rewrite our application have pushed us to think outside the box and find other solutions using only the FileMaker platform. So, how can we create a fast FileMaker-based application that does not use other technologies to fill performance gaps? Our previous application was developed with a multi-file design. Each solution file consisted of a set of tables, scripts and layouts. Most of the scripts and logics were repeated on multiple files increasing the probability of error and degrading the maintainability of the solution. Back then, layouts didn't have styles and themes, and even the components we used to design the interface were not properly optimized. The first problem we had to solve during the implementation of the new solution was to ensure a pleasant user experience and understand how to speed up an application that collects hundreds of thousands of records per week and that easily reaches millions of records every year. To start, we have unified as much as possible and organized in context the file of the solutions, and we have chosen to structure the application using the data separation model a user interface file containing the scripts and the relationship used for the user experience, and different files used for the data models. As for the relationship graph, our model was very chaotic, with too many jumps between table occurrences, and therefore difficult to understand, as you can see in this picture. 
we have chosen two techniques for organizing the tables and their occurrences. In the main file, the user interface part, the layouts and everything used to represent the data, use the anchor boy method, limiting as much as possible the number of jumps between the related tables. This choice guarantees us to make the context of the data limited to the layout on which the user is working on, simplify the maintenance and implementation process by immediately identifying all the occurrences involved. As for the logics performed on the server side or the transactional operations, we have chosen to organize the relationship graph following the selector, connector or magic key method. We use this approach mainly on the server side, where it is not necessary to have a graphical interface tied to the contest we are working on. And as you can see, it looks much better now. I am gonna show you a short video to show you how the solution looks like. To improve the performance of the list views, we have removed any dependence on fields from related tables and also the conditional formatting has been reduced to the essential. We have streamlined and reduced, but not too much, the layout of the solution and organized the visibility of related data thanks to the slide panels. The sorting on the portals have been moved at the interface level in the portal options and not in the relationship structure. In the data file, however, we mainly use the anchor boy method. We have limited, if not completely removed, the use of unstored calculation fields, substituting them with the auto-enter calculation options. In this way, we lost the automatic refresh of calculation and so we had to find a way to prompt the update of the result. To do that, we have created a special field that we called sync token, that we use to force the calculation refresh. Another trick we used is to perform the majority of stored procedures or other heavy tasks on the server side. Perform script on server is in fact one of the most used scripts within our solution. Thanks to these small tricks, our application is pleasant and easy to use and above all, fast to use in cloud. Claris recently has published some tips about how to optimize the performance of a FileMaker solution in cloud. We are happy to see that some of our choices have been the same ones recommended by the platform engineers. For more information you will find the link to these articles and other details on the last page. The central application, even when it is well designed and performing, has always one weak point. It requires a constant internet connection to be used. In some areas of Italy, connectivity is unfortunately not always guaranteed, and inefficiencies or latencies throughout the day can cause business problems in contexts such as our retail stores. The first problem to be solved, therefore, is to allow our stores to work smoothly in all conditions and perhaps even in absence of connectivity. To solve this issue, we decide to completely redesign the point of sales module, creating an independent solution with its own local database and with the possibility of offline use. But how did we decide to manage the exchange of data between the central application and the point of sales? In our specific case, we are not talking about a true bidirectional data synchronization, 
Some tables, such as those of customers, fidelity cards, products and related prices, are only managed centrally, in the main application. Stores only need to read this information, but they must not modify them. On the contrary, other data, such as those related to the sales, are only generated by the point of sales. We therefore identify two macro events, the import of new or modified records, the data import, and the sending of new records, data export. More specifically, we identify two other aspects to consider for our local application. Data import is not binding and can be delayed if there is no connectivity. It is not a repetitive activity. It is performed a few times a day. For the data export, we must ensure that the sales is processed, closed and sent correctly to the central server as soon as possible. It is a repetitive activity. It is performed continuously and it cannot be stopped. On a technical level, we started thinking about how to implement these logics in our application. For the data import, we immediately considered the data APIs thanks to their ease of use. Using the FileMaker data API, we can do our queries on the new data created or modified in the central application and then import only the deltas and only the fields necessary for our local database. In our central application, each table has a special field that we called sync token, which contains the value of the UTC milliseconds time and which is updated every time the record is created or undergoes a change. With the data API, it was very easy to create queries based on this field. But what happens when we want to activate a new store? or we want to force a reset of the local database, or again, if we want to distribute a new version of the point of sales module to all our stores? Our database to import exceeds on average 100,000 records per table. Just think, for example, that for each customer, we have two to three related fidelity cards, and our product catalog today exceeds 145,000 records. Massively importing this data via that API is not impossible, but can take a long time. To solve the problem of massive imports, the server creates CSV files of the main tables and saves them in a dedicated container fields. Using the data API, we are able to download these files locally and import them in the local application using the FileMaker native import script step. Using these two approaches, we therefore have the possibility to combine massive and partial data imports and to keep our local applications updated. As for the data export, things are slightly different we need to send the sales transaction to the main application and we need to make sure everything goes smoothly and without delays. We could use the data API, but in this context, at each sales transaction, we would invoke four events on our server. The login of the remote user who is sending the data, the creation of the record containing the details of the sales, the dispatch of the record, and the invocation of the subscripts used for the back office activities such as updating of inventories or reports, and, at the end, the logout of the remote user. This chain of events, even if functional, is evaluated synchronously, and in case of poor connectivity, it can create delays during sales operations, and especially in periods of high traffic. But let's see an example at work. In this short one minute video, I have condensed about 20 minutes of working activity of some of the terminals using the stores. Whenever you see the green button in the bottom right corner, 
a new sales has been processed by the point of sales. Now imagine what happens in our central application. Our FileMaker server is constantly under pressure because it has to handle a lot of requests and, as we mentioned before, this flow is critical for the daily activities of our stores. All things that, of course, FileMaker server can handle, but how can we make this process more efficient? We choose to design this flow using an event-driven architecture and combining FileMaker with serverless technologies to manage this flow asynchronously. The goal of this design choice is to process and close the sales transaction generated by the point of sales as soon as possible. To create this microarchitecture, we use Amazon AWS and some of its services, API Gateway to create APIs and endpoints, SQS to manage processes queues, Lambda to manage and process the event received by the queue, DynamoDB to temporarily store the sales transactions. The sales records generated by the point of sales events are sent in JSON format to a distribution queue, in this case SQS. The records are then processed asynchronously and saved in a special database called DynamoDB. On the other side, we have our central application that queries DynamoDB at regular intervals to obtain the new transaction received and then processes this data calling all the subscripts to dispatch the sales received. What we were able to achieve with this new architecture is to reduce our dependence from the central application on the point of sale side, to ensure that the data flow from the point of sales to the server is performed correctly and as quick as possible, to manage sales peaks during particular periods of the year without impacting the performance of the central application, to avoid having an additional server for the sole purpose of maintaining this data exchange, to reduce the maintenance and service costs during evening closing or holidays. Thanks to these techniques, we were able to create an highly efficient standalone application. For more information, you will find links and other information on the services used on the last page. One of the most important aspects of our software application is to manage data efficiently and generate a series of reports when requested by the user. In our case, these reports are mainly related to the sales performance of the stores. The data contained in the central application can be used to create charts, temporary tables or reports, but if you remember, we have explained in the past chapters how the application has been separated in two parts. So, how do we manage the data sharing? Take for example the case in which the store manager of a store wants to check the availability of a product in other locations, because he needs to ask for a transfer. How do you manage these reports centrally and make them available to all client applications even if not directly connected to the central database? When we designed this solution, we wanted to prevent client applications from making continuous requests to the central application to obtain reports. We didn't report updating in real time. The goal was to have data updated at regular intervals in the main application in order to have reports ready to be shared with all the stores in a more efficient way. In our application, the data are created modified by two main players, back-office users who use the central application to create, modify new products and manage logistic operations with the warehouses, the sales managers of the stores who create the sales record, therefore changing the inventory of the products. 
With these two important aspects in mind, the solution we chose was to have the server processing new records created or modified at regular intervals and to save the results in an area always available for our client applications. But let's see in more details how we manage this important aspect. Let's look at an example. In the last 15 minutes, Product X has been sold by both Store 2 and Store 5, and new stock has been allocated in Store 9. For this particular product, we will elaborate a report in JSON format containing all the data useful for the analysis of the stock on end, the sales trend during the last year, and all the data related to the product's performance. Once processed by our application, this report is saved on a storage in cloud. In our case, we have chosen Amazon S3. We decided to name the file with the product ID to make it easier to request the report by simply calling the ID of the product. Thanks to this little trick, we have created an external data source that can be easily consulted by our client applications. In fact, using a web viewer and a small snippet of JavaScript code, we are able to read the remote file, analyze it and transform its content into something very useful, for example, a chart or a table. In addition to the reports of each product, other types of reports are prepared and made available, for example, the sales trend for each store organized by day, week and month, and compared with the previous years, the ranking of the best-selling products by day, week and month, the number of new customers acquired, the number of active and used discount coupons. But it doesn't end here. Our application every day generates discrete amounts of data that becomes bigger week by week and reach 6-0 figures every year. You open a new store, a new warehouse, data will for sure increase. So the second important aspect is, how can we make our application efficient when creating reports without overloading it? Do we really need to save all this data in our FileMaker application? For example, do we really need to store the warehouse movements of two years ago or can we only keep the data of the current year? But if we delete the historical data because we think they are not longer useful and tomorrow we find out we need them for a report because we want to see the sales of a product compared to the previous periods? To manage this kind of situation, every evening after the store's closure, the central application exports the daily sales and the warehouse movements in a CSV file containing all the information for a possible report. For example, SKU, type of movement, quantity, prices, cost, and so on. This file, saved with the data as file name, is exported once again to our in-cloud storage in its dedicated folder. So now, how can we query this data in CSV format on an in-cloud storage from our FileMaker application? To do this, we use a query service called Amazon Athena. Amazon Athena is an interactive query service that makes it easy to analyze data in Amazon S3 using standard SQL. Athena is serverless, so there is no infrastructure to manage and you pay only for the queries that you run. By combining the potential of FileMaker with this service, starting from our application, we are able to generate an SQL query, send it to Athena via API and let this service process the request on our behalf by analyzing all the files saving our storage in cloud that fall under the query criteria. FileMaker, once Athena has completed the query, receives in response the results and other additional information in JSON format. Thanks to the data parsing tools available in FileMaker, we are able to process and save this data in a temporary table and to use this record to generate a report in PDF or an Excel format. Using this technique, 
we are able to query gigabytes of data and get our response in just a few seconds. With this approach, using an external service to query our data, we can decide to delete all data from our application to make it lighter by limiting the size of our databases. In this way, we can improve the efficiency of our application and also guarantee an excellent performance when we generate reports. For more information, you will find the link to these articles and other information on the last page. We live in a society where everything is super fast and now, more than ever, we are swamped by data and information from every front. Let's face it, who wouldn't want an assistant? In most cases, managers nowadays don't have time to analyze data or go through long reports. What they want to know, most of the time, is a simple number. For example, something like how much did the Milan store sell today? Or how many pieces did we sell of the XYZ product last month? Or again, how are sales going this month compared to the last month? So, what we did was to brainstorm with our managers to understand what they really need to know at a glance. And we work on a fun integration that allows us to make verbal requests to our database and get quick answers without necessarily to be sitting in front of a computer. By taking advantage of one of the most used business communication platform, Slack, and the FileMaker Data API, we were able to transform a written request into an instruction and send it to our FileMaker script. Once the request is received, the script analyzes it and returns the result to our user. And not only that, we can also request the creation of a report and send it via email. But there is more. What if we could really talk to our application? Wouldn't it be amazing to ask our voice assistant the same question we would have typed in a chat? But let me show you what we are talking about. FileMaker Assistant What text? How much did we sell this week? Just a sec. I found 4,843 sales. The total amount is 146,326 euro. What can I do for you next? What text? How many sales last week in the store number four? For what dates? What text? Last week. I found 816 sales. The total amount is 26,840 euro. Is there anything else I can assist you with? What text? How many shoes did we sell this week? I found 491 shoes sold. The total amount is 12,439 euro. Is there anything else I can assist you with? What text? How many t-shirts did we sell last week in the store number 5? I found 175 t-shirts sold. The total amount is 2,744 euro. Is there anything else I can assist you with? What text? How much did we sell this week versus last week? Unfortunately, you are down minus 166,606 euro compared to the previous period. What can I do for you next? What text? Nothing. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Going deeper with this type of integration, we managed to put a small artificial intelligence between our application and its users in order to better understand and evaluate the voice requests. Using Siri shortcuts in combination with Amazon Lex, we were able to coordinate the flow of requests and responses made by the user to our FileMaker application. One of the key players here is Amazon Lex. Amazon Lex is a service for building conversational interfaces 
into any application using voice and text. First of all, our users ask this request. In order to answer the user's questions, we need to provide some parameters to FileMaker, such as what we want to analyze and in which period. For example, how many sales did I generate this month in Milan? And what happens if any of these parameters are missing, for example, the time frame? This is where legs came into play. When a request is missing some details that are essential to our FileMaker script, Lex asks them to the user, ensuring it really has all the info that the script needs. Once Lex has fulfilled the intent of the user, it sends the request to a FileMaker script, using the Data API. At this point, the script receives the parameters in JSON format and processes the request by calling a subscript. Once the script is completed, it generates a reply and returns it to Amazon Lex. During this entire flow, Siri acts as our personal assistant. It listens to our question, instructs Lex to evaluate the intent, and once it receives the answer, it will simply read it to our user. And with these integrations, talking to our application becomes as simple as talking to a personal assistant. During the process of designing and rewriting this application, we often came across the necessity of creating custom integrations writing simple middleware to connect our FileMaker app with other services. If one upside, this gave us the opportunity to better understand our needs and the external services we use to connect and integrate our application, on the other hand, it required long development times and extreme attention in maintaining the code used for the integrations. But luckily, now, these integrations can be simplified with the use of a new powerful technology made available by Claris. Claris Connect. In fact, with Claris Connect, we have the opportunity to design event-based flows simply and quickly, without worrying about the source code and investing time in the study of libraries and SDK. One of the first flows that we started to redesign is the new customer's registration. To avoid reinventing the wheel, creating a website and a form dedicated to the customer registration, we decided to connect a well-known online form management service called Formstack with our FileMaker application. After designing the form, and providing all the required fields, thanks to Claris Connect, we created a simple flow in which the new registrations are sent and saved directly in our FileMaker application. This new product has for sure opened the way to new possibilities for integrating the solution we have made, making it modern, open and ready for future emerging technologies. In the works now, there are plans for an integration with machine learning technologies, with which, starting from the sales data collected, we will be able to produce forecasts of the future sales of a specific product or product line. This is one of the many projects that we have made in recent years. The ecosystem of Claris technologies has helped us transform and digitalize the workplace of these small and medium-sized businesses. The new philosophy of being an open platform will guarantee us in the next future the possibility of extending our products with emerging technologies and make our customer experience even more efficient and pleasant.